Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another devotion from the book of Psalm. So glad that you can join me this morning and every morning at 7 a.m. As we continue to journey through the book of Psalm, um, hope it to be a great encouragement to you, a jump start to your morning. Um, we're working through the book, going a little slower, but I'm glad that you all are uh, appreciating me taking my time going through this as we go through this wonderful book of Psalm journey through it every morning at 7 a.m. If you haven't done so, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, tag somebody, get somebody on to the journey. Uh, follow me on my platforms if you can. Nicholas A. Smith, Nicholas A. Smith 1 on all social media platforms. Uh, and Pastor Nick Smith on, uh, f on Facebook. So follow me if you can and uh, share this with someone. Of course, follow the church and follow our bishop as we continue to help you during this time. So Psalm 62, let's see if we can finish this today. Um, it is a Psalm of trust. And we've been kind of getting on some sensitive topics as it relates to trust. And what the Psalmist David is talking about, and we're going to pick up in verse five, um, he kind of reiterates in the first few verses, he repeats himself in verse five and on. It says, for God alone, my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from him. I love that. He says, for God alone, I wait in silence, for my hope is from him. Not only do I have hope in him, but God also gives us hope also. God gives us hope. He gives a reason to hope. I know where my hope comes from. I know who my hope is in. Jesus, the hope of glory. He says, for he alone is my rock and my salvation. My fortress, I shall not be shaken because trust is all about calm. That when life comes to rattle you, trust comes to calm you down. He says, on God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. So, so God is your deliverance and your honor. He's your mighty rock. I love this. My refuge is in God. This is after I've tried everything else, usually because knowing human beings, after we've tried everything else, now we discover it in God. He says in verse eight, trust in him, not sometimes, but at all times. Oh, people pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah, trust in him at all times, good times, bad times up or down your trust belongs to him he says when you trust him pour out your heart before him oh lord we're back to this again he says when when, when there's trust i can pour out my heart all right let's slow down here for a minute where there's trust i can pour out my heart why is this important because um if you got any sense at all you really only pour out your heart to people you can trust. I didn't mean to be that blunt, but you kind of got the gist of it. Sense, sense says I don't share all of me with everybody. But where there's trust, I'm willing to expose myself to this person. So when he talks about pouring out my heart, he's talking about exposure. And not just the good parts of me, but I'm telling the bad parts too. And here's the thing. It's not like God doesn't know. He already knows already. He just wants us to pour out our hearts and share it with him. Because why? Where there's trust, there's a pouring out of hearts. Now, some of you are wondering why I, I bring that concept up of uh, trust in pouring out your heart um, and exposure. Here's the thing. I want you to think about your heart is you. Right. Your composite of your heart is you, your body, soul, your spirit, that all, all of those make up one being, which is called you. You can't have one without the other. You know, all of it works together while you're here on earth. Right. Um, and the premise is, is that the, the, the Hebrew imagery of your mind, which is a part of your heart, is a walled city. Right. It's a walled city. It's like a going to a, by a gated neighborhood. You can see the houses, but there's a gate there. So only certain people are allowed in. And the Bible talks about our mouths being a gate. 
Our mouths are a gate. Your mind is a walled city. The access to this city is through what you say. Conversation leads people to your heart and mind. This is why if you've ever had intimate conversation with the wrong person, feelings started to be produced because you were exposing yourself. You were sharing yourself through conversation. Uh Oh, isn't that how the devil got Eve in the garden? It was through the conversation. It was through the words he got in her mind through her words and the devil gets into our minds through our conversation. You have to be careful who you talk to and what you share because why your mind is a city. Your mouth is the gate. Be careful what you share with other people because conversation leads to exposure and exposure leads to feelings and feelings can lead to disappointment. So if you, if you want to get something off your chest, talk to God about it. All right, let me hear him get out of this. It says, God is a refuge for us. Those of lower state are but a breath. Uh, of those of high state are a delusion. In the bounce, they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no confidence in exhortation and set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice I heard this, that power belongs to God. When God speaks twice, He's trying to solidify something. So I heard it once. I heard it again to remind me that power belongs to God. Right where you are, shout, power belongs to God. Put in the comment section, power belongs to God. God tells us over and over again that power belongs to me. That's a wonderful thing because other powers are out there, but the right power belongs to God. And steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay all. To all according to their work. God rewards people according to how they live. You want to make sure you're living on the right side. Because I want God's proper rewards. Come on, let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, getting us through this moment and for speaking to us again. And I appreciate you today for how you allow us to come to you in prayer. To not only pour out just simple things, but we can pour out our total hearts to you. We can put our trust in you because, Lord, we, we know that you are a vessel that can contain the struggles that we have. You're empowered to hear and you're compassionate in every part of your being to be able to take our wounds, and take our words, heal us and give us comfort. I pray, Lord, for each person that's watching today that you would strengthen them. I pray for your divine comfort. I pray for your divine joy. I pray, Lord, that you would release hope in their lives, help them put their trust in you, to let them know that power belongs to you, that even though there are other powers out there, power ultimately belongs to you. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to keep us, bless us through this day, uphold us, Lord, give us something to talk about. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. Thank you for joining us today as we got through Psalm 62 finally, and tomorrow we'll start Psalm 63 at 7 a.m. God bless you all.